this I call the shots, I never call it quits Trust my intuition, bet it's right and bitch it often is Seen too many others come and go, they had the wrong intent Do it out of love and never for it, then I watch it get Bigger than expected, don't second guess it, I let it set it It's God's plan, we out here only accepting blessings I'm stuck with it, this mindset is terminal In and out different terminals, leveling up is personal and I already made it, y'all can miss me It's hard to believe I made something from nothing No hindsight discussions, I've been writing, I love it Welcome to the 3 Gig Sports Podcast Where we are never wrong, just sometimes misinformed Sitting here tonight with my guy Rio Jimmer is, I think this might be his first uh, personal day, huh? Yeah, so he can't talk shit no more, what's up? Yeah, no doubt <laughs> Use some more of those, baby, but seriously, get better um, <clears throat> we need you back out here. Rio's got vacation. That takes priority. So That uh, it does. You know, and if there's any way you can fix that face before you come back, we'd appreciate it. At least I would. Um, yeah, absolutely. You've got a closer view. You've got to I do, I do. I've night. got a, God, I almost need to put like horse blinders on. It's just, I wonder if you could just get can't a look mirror. away. It's like a bad accident. You can't look <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a bad accident. <laughs> Man, terrible accident. Yeah. But what do you do? Uh, so tonight, no interviews planned. <clears throat> We're just going to talk a little sports. <clears throat> Jesus criminy. There's a few things going on out there in the sports world today. Um, we're just going to bounce back and forth. Usually we got Jimmer to handle all this business, and uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and kick her off, man. What do you want to start with? Uh, you know, we'll touch on, um, wow, shoot, what was his name? Marion Barber. Marion Barber, let's, yeah. Let's do the big hitter. Yeah, yeah. Marion Barber passed away. Uh, Cowboy, great, you know, he kind of was uh, made his name with the Cowboys there, hard style runner, and so rest in peace to him, no details out at the moment, just kind of come across within the hour, I believe, so yeah, I mean. Big deal, gosh. man, they said he was going to be 39 just in a little over a week, it's, too. It's crazy, because you, you think uh, he played with Tony Romo, and Tony Romo didn't seem, you know, what? Five years ago, maybe? Yeah, seems so, like it, right? I don't know. We're all getting old, man. We're all getting old. Yeah. And football just ages you so much faster, too, right? Like, yeah, No kidding. Man. But what else? I Did you see, <clears throat> I think at the beginning you said you heard a little bit about it, but did you hear what Nick Saban said about his comments? And after all, what the media hyped up this big fight between him and Jimbo? No, go ahead and tell us. So... Nick Saban decided to respond to the media criticism of him and say, I didn't say he did anything wrong. If you'll remember, what he literally said was, they bought their number one class. Yeah. Do you, I feel literally. like that's saying something's, something's wrong, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> then, he, then he comes back and says, no, I didn't say he did anything wrong. Oh, so that's just... Uh, it's just a thing we're going to accept then. Yeah. They bought it. I don't know. I think that's nuts. And then it turns out Jimbo's over it too. He's like, this bat's over. We're fine. Like, Yeah, I think uh, they both kind of rambled on and went a little bit too far, you know, and, and Jimbo, he's he was trying to, well, I mean, no, we didn't pay the kids, but, I mean, in a roundabout way, somebody did. <laughs> oh, for right? sure. So be it booster, be it, you know, supporters of the school, the team, uh, whatever. Somebody paid the kids. Ultimately, that's uh, you know, I'm a little biased. I don't like A and M, but sure, there's there's money there. So I mean, the kids are gonna come, and I think we're gonna see a lot of that. You know, uh, and I think that's why you know the Clemson's Clemson. He was mad about it right away because he was losing the recruits. You know, he yep. was doing things, and I think he was one of the ones that was doing the things the right way, the correct way, and bringing Seems it. Like and it. he built the team, right? Yeah. Um, granted, he was blessed with that quarterback. Um, Old boy from Jacksonville, at Jacksonville now. Yeah, he's not very good. Um, <laughs> I don't even remember his name. Right. Uh, blessed with him, you know, for a while. So he, quarterback class was set. But just overall, I think he was doing things the right way. And he, they've seen a dip right away now that all this NIL stuff has gone on. So, Yeah, that's true. It, it is kind of funny, though. People blew up what Saban said about Jimbo. But if you remember back, like what Jimbo said, <clears throat> he was a lot more personal on Saban, basically talking about like he's got, yeah, he can release some info, right? Yeah, to, look in his closet. I yeah. mean, yeah, there's been this NIL deal is just now out in the open. There's been this has been going on behind the scenes for years, 
yeah. years. They've been paying players. I mean, that you pretty much can't convince me otherwise. Um, considering how many teams have gotten hit with, you know, fines and, and this and that. So their players have been getting hooked up regardless of whatever, however you want to call it, whatever it was, they've been getting hooked up. Now it's just out in the light for everybody to see. Yeah. And it's nuts. Now that now it's can nuts. actually see it. But yeah. I, I don't, but I agree. I don't, I can't remember who said it, but I, I think you're correct. Whoever, which one of you was that the NCAA is going to be like, Hey, we got no ties. Let it go crazy yep. until everybody's bitching moaning. And then you're going to be like, Oh, now you want us to regulate it. And then they're going to hop on in and regulate the shit out of it. So, yep. Uh, and I agree there needs to be some. I mean, something. this is crazy. I yeah. definitely, you know, I, I get the name and image and likeness, but teenagers have no business with millions of dollars. That's... Sorry. Yeah, so the high schoolers, and no, absolutely not. Like, you what's know? your motivation? What's your right? You're, paid? you're building yourself up. You're built, you know, you're doing it for your high school. You're still worried about education. Yeah. If you make it too much about money, Education is going to go out the door, and we're going. To, I think we're going to see more fails, failures. You know, we're we're starting high school, and got a couple of million, and then you know, I don't have to worry about my grades. I got some money, and and then, you know, um, I, I just think we're going to see more of that going forward. Yeah, we're going to miss out on like the guys we've been blessed enough to interview in the college yeah. world who always the, all of them are talking about you yeah. know what the nfl is a real deal i want to try to get there but if not i'm gonna I have got this a degree up. two yes. degrees whatever. i think it's gonna change i, I yeah. think it's gonna be all money uh going forward and that's not you know that's not what it's all about agreed man. still setting you up for life because i mean you know the percentages of you playing in the nfl for years on years on years and making those millions of dollars are slim already even if you have that great talent, you know, anything can happen. You can blow your ACL out. You can, you know, you're right before your senior year. You can, uh, so much things can happen. So uh, guys have got to realize that. Yeah, agreed, man. Um, Gladney, you know, we talked about him dying in a car accident and, and his girlfriend. Uh, a little bit come out. Um, they were speeding late at night, 2 in the morning. It sounds like clipped the back of a car, flipped over, and uh, unfortunately – both passed away. Um, so, you know, more info starting to kind of come out about that whole deal. Sad, sad situation, nonetheless. Yeah, sad situation. Young cat with his girlfriend. Um, there's never really too many good things that happen after 2 in the morning, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that is. <laughs> was, uh, we know that. that was, uh, very well. Yeah, no kidding. But I, I don't know. The NFL is kind of a mess right now, man. That's two and. A week, right? Or just like a few days, actually. So Tell you what. Just a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. I guess it keeps us talking about the NFL, but it's too bad um, for both of those guys. So, mm-hmm. Man, I don't know. I was – so last night I was watching. So it would have been the uh, Western Conference game one in the NHL, right, at Western Con- Conference Finals. And I don't watch a ton of hockey anymore. That shit was seven to six Holy with cow. with a minute left when I turned the TV on. I'm like, oh, man. And I could not imagine being a goalie in that situation. You're just no. getting pinged up, man. Ping, 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 ping. They're just anything they can do. They're just taking shots, taking shots. And, oh, dude, I don't know. That was the most intense bit of hockey I've ever watched in my life, though. You know what? We should do, we should do that. We should get a hockey stick. We've done it before, possibly at work, uh, and hit tennis balls at each other and see if we can block that shit. <laughs> Boom, let's do it. Yeah. I'm in. Heck That'd be yeah. a good time, man. Heck yeah. We can find sure. some pads or something. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't even need that. Just Tennis face balls. Mask. Just a face mask. Okay. Yep, I'm in. Yeah, maybe a nut cup. Yeah, let's... I don't know if we can find anything small enough for Jimmer as well. I don't know. I think we, we might have something over there. Yeah. Uh, Steelers defensive end, Tewitt, retiring after eight seasons. Stephon Tewitt. Um, got his degree from University of Notre Dame. He was selected in the second round of the 2014 NFL draft and spent eight years with Pittsburgh. Oh, uh, yeah. So pretty cool. 29 years old. Um, he didn't play during the 2021 season following the death of his brother. So, um, but I mean, you know, he's got his degree and, and set himself up for later in life. So um, he had one year left on his contract and leaves behind nearly $10 million in dead cap money. But it can be spread over multiple years um, if the 
transaction is processed on or after June first, which I'm sure they will yep. do. That's a lot of change, but man, it so sad that he had to miss the last year because of his brother. But I do like to see NFL's players be able to just walk away when they're ready to. Aaron Donald, you see what he? I don't. So I don't know what Aaron Donald. Back and doing. forth, man. I'm wondering if he's. Like they come to the table, you know, and not the best offer. And, you know, he maybe he's not the kind of guy, like, I'm, he's going to put it out there. But he's like, you know what, I can just retire. You know, I don't need this. Yeah. So if you're just going to give me, you know, basically lowball me, then I'll just retire. Like, it's whatever. And I hope they wouldn't, right? You wouldn't think they would, but, I mean, they got to be strapped. They have to be. I mean, I, I don't know. Even with the fake cap, right? That's, yeah. They've got a lot going on. I don't know, man. It's... He also, I wish I, you know, could get inside his head because he also talked about before the Super Bowl, like, eh, you know, this could be it. I might hang her up. So maybe he's really considering it. Uh, let's see. Estimated cap, you know, four and a half million. Right. Is I would have thought they'd been hella in the negative, so. Okay, hold on. Um, I have to update this because then it's gonna estimated cap space two million. So it takes yeah. He's too critical to that team though. I feel like if you're just gonna drop whatever cash and figure it out, right? Mm-hmm. Like, damn, I hope that's not the case. But you're right; he's gone back and forth quite a bit on this. Yeah, definitely. So I I don't know what the deal is there. Uh, <clears throat> I guess we'll see. I don't know. They definitely need him. I think. I mean, he's the best player on that defensive line for sure. Yeah, in the NFL. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or at least you could argue top two or whatever, but still. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But either way, I like to see guys that are able to just walk away. Yeah, you know what? I'm done. Before they get beat up and before they got all sorts of things. Right, yeah. I mean, you still got your whole life ahead of you and – you know, family and this and that, you know, and, and value of life that comes into play. Some of those guys. Um, did you see Deshaun Watson? Another case got yes. uh, filed against him. Yeah. Uh, apparently the woman watched some series of basically about it come out. Yeah. I think and, HBO had something. Yes. Yeah. And she's like, uh, at that moment I decided to not stay quiet. She had, I guess, apparently decided to stay quiet over the whole deal. And then when she saw that, she decided to come out. So that makes 23 cases. I saw, I did see a meme. I love the internet. And it had, uh, it was like the woman who filed the 23rd and it was Baker Mayfield with a wig on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just can't see a spot where he is not suspended like at all. It's almost like they're going to be forced to figure out a reason to suspend him because I don't know how you could right now other than like we there, talked there's, about. There's, there, you can't, I mean, the, the reason's there. Contra, de, conduct detrimental, detrimental to the league. To, yeah. If he settles these civil cases, that means something happened. So you just put the NFL in all this limelight. You have to. Zeke didn't get in trouble, yeah. and he got suspended six games. Yeah, I. it's not a matter of trying to argue that should he get suspended, but – if he doesn't, it's going to be such a bad look, man. Because oh, yeah. of the other things we talked about, whether yeah. it's Zeke, whether it's Ridley, right? Fucking gambling, right. Fucking, you know, whatever. But I did see, I saw a meme with uh, Deshaun in a jumpsuit. Yeah. Uh, his, oh, his oh, NFL God. It was, Madden cover, I think. What was it? It was like, uh, it had him at practice, and it's like, oh, he looks great in orange. <laughs> so good, man. So good. Love the internet. Uh, I don't know if we actually talked about a number, but... Dustin Johnson, so he bailed on the PGA, right? Mm-hmm. His contract's $125 million over there. Yeah, that is insane. And I don't know if you have this, uh, but they did come out, PGA did come out and say you can play in their league or you can play in our league, but you can't play in both. Yep. We won't let you do both. I mean, yeah. But if yeah, you, fuck if it. They're a... tossing around that kind of money. <laughs> Shit. Done. Dude, I'm yeah, I'm signing for like a quarter of that. Yeah. Because you know they're setting you up in one of those sick fucking hotel apartments, whatever, oh, oh, you know, yeah. skyscraper, the whole the whole deal, too. It's like $125 million, man. Yeah. Listen, say Tiger's coming back. He's like, all right, I need some <laughs> He's more like, hold on. 
It's like, yeah, I've got to do, I got some more gambling, some more uh, hookers and blow to bang out here. Let's go. I haven't finished that journal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Man. What else you got over there? Uh, let's see here. That to me, pull it up. Um, I did see the Nets are deferring the Sixers first round pick to 2023. Um, maybe just not something they like and maybe it's not as high as they want. So they're going to see about uh, another year, see if we can scoot up. I don't know uh, where it ends up at the moment. It's from the James Harden trade. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it does sit at number 23, so they're rolling the dice basically that they could get higher on the draft board next year. Yeah, I mean, you're already that far down. It's like might, might as, as well. well. Yeah. yeah, especially if you're going to get it. You know you're going to get it. So, Same yeah. with the NBA. Um, Jalen Brown, first NBA player to join Kanye's um, sports marketing firm. Uh, what is it called here Donda Sports. Donda Sports. Yes. Part of West Larger Clothing Line. And Aaron Donald recently said he joined the firm as well. Nothing's confirmed about his deal, but Aaron Donald did too. I didn't realize that. Uh he said he will. It doesn't seem like oh, he okay. has yet, but okay. he will. I'm guessing he's waiting on that contract. Yeah. Offer. Interesting. Man, some of these artists and musicians are just dabbling in everything, man. That they are. You know, it's an interesting concept. Somebody talked about it, I believe, a guy on our show, about being a sports agent and whatnot, and um, it would be interesting for sure. I remember watching a documentary on uh, a lady that is Trevor Bauer's agent, and basically how she was shunned and stuff as she was trying to be in the market because it's a guy's market, right, to be a sports mar- um, sports agent and, and stuff like that, and Basically, <clears throat> basically, she had made him one of the richest MLB pitchers. Got him into, I mean, of Badass. course, the whole deal is going on now with his, his case and suspended and whatnot. But um, basically, she got him to take one-year deals, and so he can basically play wherever. Oh, she was he, his agent. Yeah. He, oh, okay. He he's been taking one-year deals and just making a boatload of money every year, but it doesn't tie him down to a team. So if the team sucks they can't trade him you know if they start losing or whatever yeah um he can play wherever he wants a year by year basis and you know um i guess security wise yeah ish not there but you're still going to make bank for that one year yeah you know so yeah if you've got faith in yourself keep rolling i get that yeah the i think the only other nba thing i wanted to make sure we talked about was uh, do you see the Kevin Durant kind of fired back at Draymond, right? After Draymond said Steph was double teamed way more than him and that. Yeah. Well, what I learned today was that KD, within that whole mess of like him responding to people and talking shit on Twitter, he <clears throat> randomly tagged this like other name, not a famous person or anything, in his response in one of these tweets. And somebody replied, they're like, that person's not even involved in this. Why mm-hmm. did you tag them? And he's like, y'all been mad for like the last five years or something like that. He's like, I'm just making sure you know. So he's like keeping receipts from years ago from people that are talking shit and Holy like tagging cow. them up, dude. How hilarious is that? <laughs> Definitely the guy that would do that kind of shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. So this guy apparently was talking shit, however, you know, a few years ago and KD didn't let it go. He's throwing him in tweets right now. I love it. You know, all that stuff come out about his burner account and stuff. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I'm glad he got away from that, and he's just open about it now. Is I'm he, just, though? I'm not taking shit. Maybe not. Maybe yeah, maybe know. he still has it. Who knows? Yeah. Did you watch his interview with, uh, I can't remember who the guy was, but he's talking about, like, marijuana and stuff in sports, and he's like, yeah, it's like sitting down having a glass of wine. He's like, really? He's like, yeah, I'm actually high right now. <laughs> and they both going to laugh about it. <laughs> Dude, I just love to sit back, smoke weed, and play video games. Yeah. Like, what's wrong with that? What's, yeah, what the, uh, the life, right? Jeez. No doubt. Not much uh, popping on sports in here. I did see, um, who is it, Mel Kuyper put out his... Uh, big board for the 2023 draft 
They have Will Anderson, defensive end from Alabama, followed by Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud. Uh, Jalen Carter, D-tackle from Georgia. Jackson Smith, Najigba. Ohio State wide receiver. Uh, Brian Breesey, D-tackle from Clemson. Uh, Michael Mayer, tight end, which is kind of surprising. Interesting. Um, from Notre Dame, if you – I mean, you don't see – Tight end. I mean, no, unless that, you know, pretty high. right? Unless he, you know, switch positions when he comes to the NFL. I don't know. He is well, two fifty one. Well, I don't know. Where did old boy? Uh, how high was he? Nine. Who's that? Um, Falcons. Yes, I believe so. And I think that was the highest. Yeah. So yep. seven. That says a lot, man. Damn. Uh, Eli Ricks, cornerback for Alabama. Uh, Kayshawn Boutte, Bout, I don't, I'm not sure how to say that name, wide receiver for LSU. Uh, Bijan Robinson, baby, to round out the number 10. All right, finally a running back in the top 10 again. Let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Where would it say he'd go? No, no they don't have a team. predictions at the moment. Just big board for... Um, oh, real. I got yeah. it. Uh, offensive tackle from Northwestern, Peter Skoronsky. Uh, Tyler Van Dyke, quarterback from Miami, which is kind of surprising to me. Hmm. Um, Anthony Richardson, quarterback, Florida. Some of these were definitely kind of surprising. Um, Andre Carter, the second Army linebacker, which I wonder how that works. I don't know if you remember, was it two years ago now? Uh, there was a guy trying to delay his military service to go in the draft. Big deal. I believe they let him and he didn't get drafted. Oh, yeah. shit. Basically, it sounded like teams were scared yeah. of you know what would happen military-wise. Um, I wonder how that would work out. Paris Johnson, Jr., offensive tackle, Ohio State at 15. Siaki Ika, D-tackle, Baylor. Miles Murphy, D-N, Clemson. Jordan Addison, wide receiver, USC, coming over from Pitt. Real surprised he went to to USC, man. Yeah. Um, especially, I thought Texas was a shoe in. He had a great visit. Um, Pitt's wide receiver coach is there, so I was like, "Oh man, perfect, and, yeah." But I don't know. It's uh, it was kind of surprising, but I mean, you know, Lincoln Riley, he's got bringing in playmakers from all over the place. Yeah, you know they're going to score some points. Yeah. I want to be part of that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, you know, probably more of a question mark, I suppose, at the quarterback position with Ewers and some of them freshmen. Definitely, yeah. There, you know, and then you have a uh, old boy that come over from Caleb Williams that come over from Oklahoma. So probably less of a question mark there. So I get it. Uh, Isaiah Foskey, outside linebacker from Notre Dame in 19. Cam Smith, cornerback, South Carolina. Uh, Keely Ringo, cornerback, Georgia. Man, I tell you what. He almost went to Texas. He was so close. He committed and then decommitted and ended up going to Georgia. Will Lewis, uh, sorry, Levis, quarterback Kentucky, transfer from Penn State. Be really interesting. I think he's going to have to have a really good year. Yeah. Really good year. They have a lot of quarter. He's got a lot of quarter. Of course, it's first big board. Got a lot of um, quarterbacks, I feel like. Uh, Noah Sewell. Inside linebacker, Oregon, um, brother of Panay Sewell, of course. You know, you, you say there's a lot of quarterbacks, and that's a good point because I figured the next year's draft would be top heavy. Yeah. But then. God, they, I didn't. They uh, slipped Miami, down. Kentucky. Yeah. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, I know. It's obviously going to be better than this past year. So. Yeah. Um, let's see. And last two, Antonio Johnson, DB from Texas A&M, and Trenton Simpson, outside linebacker from Clemson. So Texas might actually finally get a pick in the first round for the first time in a while. No shit. Let's go. Bijan's a stud. That he is. That he is. Let's see here. What else do we have? Just not one of those exciting days for sports, my man. It's really not. It's really not. Uh, we do have a uh, fight UFC fight night on June 4th coming up. 
Volkov versus uh, Rosenstruck. Um, I think the UFC has like 10 straight Saturdays of having something. I did see that. This is kind of a weak card. Really, I'm looking at it. Um, it's hard to have bangers when you have that many in a row. It know? is. Yeah, this, this card is not great. Um, you know, unless you're a big time, big time UFC guy. Not very many big names there, but... Yeah, definitely a slow day here in the news department. Uh, you know, we're waiting on NBA to kick off again. Um, hockey is just kind of kicking off their um, Eastern and Western Conference Final games. So. Yeah, the Lightning play the Rangers. So Tampa Bay Lightning play the Rangers tonight. <clears throat> Trying to three-peat. Yeah. You don't hear about that too often anymore, so that'd be interesting. I don't know. I don't know enough about hockey to say one way or another. If if the score is going to be eight to six every game, though, I'm in, man. I'll be watching some of that. But uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, touching a little bit on baseball, they're they're rocking and rolling. You know, Yankees leading their division, five and a half games ahead, uh, looking good. Plus seventy nine, the point differential uh, category. Points, uh, surprising here, Toronto number two in that division with the point differential. Boom, zero, dead even. <laughs> oh, uh, and Tampa Bay follows them up, uh, as well as then Boston. Of course, Baltimore is bad. Uh, Jimmer's Twins, thirty and twenty-one plus thirty-four on the run differential, a uh, five-game lead over Chicago White Sox. You know that's always just kind of been a weak division. Yeah, you know, um, for a long time. Shoot, Chicago's second at twenty-three and twenty-four in that division with minus forty-six. Trying to control. That's not great. No. Um. Let's see, Houston's leading the West over here by five and a half games, plus forty-four in the run differential columns. Next up, L.A. Angels, twenty-seven and twenty-three, plus thirty-four in the run differential. Our Let's Rangers actually pulled it up to five hundred the other night. The league-leading ERA leader Martin Perez uh, got another dub the other night, uh, plus thirteen in the run differential. Nice, trying to come through. Yeah, our it, bats are kind of starting to swing. We, you know, we just need to figure out our pitching. Got some young guys that just quite, quite haven't figured it out yet. This next level, so like I said, uh, of course, uh, Marcus Simeon too. Our big one of our big pieces been sucking. See, just gotta turn it around. I turn around, and uh, the Mets are keeping it up. They're ten and a half games over Atlanta. It's not a great division either, but ten and a half over Atlanta plus seventy seven in the run differential. They are balling out thirty five and seventeen. Um, Brewers two and a half game lead over St Louis Cardinals plus thirty nine in the run differential. St Louis Cardinals, you know, up next twenty nine and twenty one plus forty seven. Then it gets kind of bad. Pittsburgh is twenty one and twenty seven minus eighty one in the run differential. Callum, um, Chicago Cubs and Cincinnati Reds. Follow behind them. They're not doing well. Um, it's funny. The, really bad. The Pirates, I think um, when I saw the stat the other day, they're actually 4-1 and one against the Dodgers this year. Really? Yeah. <laughs> they're just like the Dodgers kryptonite. Yeah. So I, hopefully they don't play come too close to play on time. I'm about to rattle off this number here, and it's going to blow your mind. The Dodgers, 33-16, and 16, right? They're leading the division only by three and a half games. Guess what the run differential is? 40. Plus 116. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. 116. 18-9 on the road, 15-7 and seven at home. Just, yeah, it's crazy. San Diego, you know, three and a half games behind at 30-20. and 20, Only plus 20, in the, plus 20 in the run differential column. Uh, Giants are also playing well, 27-21, plus 22 in the run differential column. It's going to be a great race again, I think. You know, I think... Uh, Giants, Padres, Dodgers are all going to be right there in that mix. So, it's going yeah, to be tough. The American League, the East, all three of those top teams could win the division and the same thing there. All three of those teams could. They're all really good teams. Yeah, you know, you, you, know? you look at the Mets, you know, they always end up faltering and, and go, falling apart. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Braves, you know, I, I figure they claw back into it, but. Yeah, oh, I don't know. I'm thinking the Dodgers. The Dodgers and oh, oh, the West. Yeah, the oh, West. okay. So the East American the and East. yeah, the West and the National. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to be interesting, but uh, you know, as they're kind of kicking off their season and mid-season here, it's uh, going pretty well. I mean, 
Which the Rangers did a little better. I, so I go to Texas uh, for vacation here this weekend, and I was trying to catch a game, but I think they are at home Saturday, Sunday, and like 100 degrees out, and it's afternoon games. Fuck. So like 3 o'clock. I was yeah. like, I ain't fucking going and sitting Literally in. Literally prime no. heat. Yeah, no. prime heat. Sorry, not doing that. And then they head out of town, so not going to get to catch a Ranger game while I'm out there. Damn. That'd be tough. I haven't I haven't gone to a baseball game in a long time. What are tickets really? running for that? Yeah, uh, it just depends on what you want to pay. So um, a couple of years ago, my brother in law come down and visit us when we were living in Texas, and we ended up getting seats. It was probably seventy bucks a ticket. To I mean, we are I mean, we could touch the players. We're basically front row. That was cool. I mean, you can get cheap tickets, you know, fifteen dollars or whatever, up, way up high. But, uh, you know, I'm all about the experience at the ballpark, too. So I don't mind sitting up high as well. Yeah, definitely. Even know. 70 bucks for being primo wasn't bad. So Yeah, not too bad. Um, I'd like, you know, I, I wouldn't mind taking the boys up and going. Yeah, I mean, we got to go all the way up to Minneapolis or whatever for one. But right. I wouldn't mind, um, you know, I think that would be cool to hit ballparks, you know. That'd be a good. Well, yeah. I mean, it doesn't even have to be just ballparks. It could be NFL, but NFL games you're going to pay. Yeah, you pay a chunk more for an NFL you're, game. You're, for you're, sure. You are, but I think uh, doing one of the two would be pretty cool Hell experience. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Vacation would be a good time, even though you can't go to a Texas game. It's too bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was about wraps it up, and we'll do a little Rio's randoms here, I suppose. Let's see what you got, brother. Uh, yeah. You know what time it is it is time for rio's randoms tonight brought to you by bo's power washing out of belmond iowa <coughs> make sure to hit them up for all your cleaning power washing needs uh i guess we're rock and rolling a second time i i've always been scared that when i scroll back that i would do that i finally got it <laughs> it's such um, a good song though it is uh make sure you hit them up for all your cleaning and power washing needs you'll clean gutters mow your lawn leave a move snow in the winter time Hit them up at 641-903-1720. First up today, would you rather be a mascot for a day or drive a Zamboni for a day at an NHL game? Oh, mascot would be fun. Say say the Zamboni is like one playoff game. Zamboni. Yeah, I'm going to go Zamboni yeah. though. Yeah. That would be, that'd be cool, but I'm balling out with a mascot. I think okay. I'd have so much fun. Dude, it'd be a good time either oh, way. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mascot mm-hmm. deal, you get to vibe with the fans, play around, you can mess with them, right? You might make Sports Center. Like, uh, you might, yeah. yeah. Getting a dance off or whatever. Hell yeah. Uh, number two, would you rather be an average player with a good oh. reputation or a famous player with a reputation for cheating? Cheating in the sport or cheating? Yes. Damn. I don't want to have a reputation for cheating, so I'm not going that I way. do. Whatever. Any publicity is good publicity. And if, right. Tom, look at Tom Brady. Coming from a Cowboys fan. I get it. All right. That's <laughs> the truth, right? Well, okay. you know what we didn't have to do is cheat to beat Minnesota last year <laughs> with you. our second screen quarterback who's on the practice squad at the beginning of the year. So. <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, you guys did play really well without Dak. So yeah, we did. That's the we truth. Did. You want to trade? No. <laughs> no. MVP. Kirk Cousins MVP is so coming. bad. So bad. <laughs> so bad. No. All the wins and losses fall on the, on the quarterback. I know. They do, man. They definitely do, which includes Dak last year. Just couldn't be good teams for well, the is, usual. That is very true. Uh, yeah. But we made the playoffs, right? Son of a bitch. Uh, and last up tonight, would you rather be on a below average team your entire career or join your rival and win a championship? Damn, that's a good one. Below average team or join a rival to win a chip. I'm after that chip, so I don't give a shit. I'll join the rival. Let's okay. go. You know, uh, I'm going to be on that below average team. I'm probably going to get all the minutes, right? I'm probably actually get a decent contract. 
if I win the championship, I might not be that guy, right? Um, they're probably already set up, you know, uh, to win. Um, they probably have all the pieces, right? Um, so, you know, and, and I, I'm the kind of person that thinks I've always got that shot, right, that I can help get them over the hump even if I never do. But, you know. Um, so you're but, trying to say you're competitive, but you're not because you're going to join yeah. a below average team and not win shit. Right, but it's always in my head that I can yeah. I can put the team over the edge, right? For sure. Boom. Yeah, hey, I get it. You know, I can, like, oh, yeah, we just, we're just one or two away. We're one or two away. Pieces or you know, just we need to play a little better here or there. And uh, so I, I think that would probably be in my head, and that's where I'd go. That's exactly how Jimmy and I talk about the Vikings. Like yeah. just one more, just one more one piece. More piece. We got it this year. Really this bad. is the year. <laughs> Damn yeah. it! For years, he's like, "Oh, our defense isn't that." Like, dude, your defense is not that great. You have some good pieces, right? Daniel Hunter, when he's healthy, Harrison Smith is a baller, but that's it. That's like, that's all. You got some pieces. You got I a few pieces, but the defense. He's like, defense is this and that. My favorite you know. thing is when he says somebody's name that you don't know, and you're like, who the fuck right. is that? Right, and he's talking, he's like, oh, yeah, Kendrick Warren. He's like, amazing, he's so good, he's this and that. I'm like, what? no, so biased, so biased. Got to rag on Jimmy, he's not here a little bit, you know, playing hooky. But that is what I have for Rio's Randoms tonight. Boom. So, I wasn't prepared with it to make sense. You got a good one tonight? I do have one. Uh, it's not the greatest. Because, well, one, it happened to me. It wasn't my brightest, finest moment. Nice and short. I like it. Um, so, we used to have an old stove, right? The rings, the metal rings on it. And um, when it got really hot, it would, they turn orange, right? So I turned this uh, pan on of water. I think I was making noodles or something. I put it on there, and it's, it doesn't seem like it's, like, the coils aren't red or whatever, and it seemed like when it getting hot and the water wasn't boiling fast enough. Guess what my dumb ass did? Did you touch it? I fucking picked that pan up, and I touched the fucking deal, and I burnt my fucking hand. Oh, uh, this is Dude. awesome. Yeah, and my hand hurt, and, you know, I had that burn spot for, like, probably two months. Oh, I bet. God, it was horrible. Fuck. And I felt like an idiot, right? You know how Jimmer looks like one? I felt like one. <laughs> felt like an idiot. <laughs> no, man. That, I, it's always so tempting, though, right? You're it like, is. well, if the pan's are hot, it's yeah, not going to be Yeah, the pan's hot. not hot. It's not hot. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, it was hot. There's so many good cooking stories, like trying to make ramen but not putting water in it. You know what I'm saying? I know somebody that did that, and it, shit started on fire. Yeah. Or I don't know if they didn't put any. I don't know if she didn't put any at all or put just barely any and evaporated and then start on fire. But uh, I know how to make the perfect ramen, right? You crunch that shit up, put it in water. Um, you put the water, right, just to, like, barely where it's covering it, not even covering it, like something's sticking out. Throw it in the microwave. Three and a half minutes. Perfect, right? Pull it out. Five ice cubes. Start around. Because you want to eat it right away. You don't want it. And... Ooh. Right, you don't want you don't have to wait for it to cool down. Five ice cubes, boom, put it in. Makes it a love dump your stuff in it. Perfect, genius. Perfect, and then you eat it right away. It's still warm. It's not like scalding hot. So that's a that's a pretty good strategy. It's almost as good as the guys that use ramen to like fix fix shit, desks and shit. Asking dude. that you've been on YouTube at like three oh in the morning. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. If you're like, how did this video come up? I, I guess yeah. I don't. And know if you're I'm, in a pinch, you can I'm just watching. eat your table. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I mean, with inflation the way it is, man, <laughs> you do right. what you got to do. Yeah, unless you're that guy at work that told us that your grocery bill has not gone up at all, then you're, you don't need that. So, Well, yeah, if you buy less, bro, it's not going to go up. <laughs> do you literally buy it? Like, the only thing I've ever seen him eat at work is, like, two yogurts. <laughs> two yogurts, <laughs> Jesus. Every day. See, he always hits it when it's, like, you know, four for <laughs> ten or whatever the hell. Oh, yeah. Is, right? Always. So that, Speaking of that, yeah. I go on vacation, I got to start yonking down some yogurts, man. I think I bought too many. Oh, yeah, dude, come back to some expired yogurts. Yeah. And then we can do my challenge. Oh, yeah. See how many expired yogurt, chunky yogurts. Not a gallon, yogurts. though. No, but how many we can eat Ooh. chunky, nasty yogurts? Okay. Ugh. Might have to do something. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> no shit, buddy. Well, uh, yeah, since Jimmer's not here tonight, we don't have some guy to talk and talk and talk. So I suppose it's about time to wrap her up, man. 
That it is. So if you're watching the podcast anywhere, if you're listening, just happen to stumble across it, we always love, a, you know, like, share, um, <clears throat> subscribe, maybe give us a rating, something like that. Uh, the podcast is available where, Rio? Pretty much anywhere you can get it, YouTube, Spotify, Facebook at the moment, but those that's going to be taken down apparently. So we'll be sharing links out, um, iHeartRadio, uh, Breaker Radio, pretty much anywhere you listen to podcasts, we are available. That's right, baby. And uh, we, since we had to pull a mulligan this week, uh, whenever Rio gets back, we'll go ahead and finish our story. So we're going to put you guys on the edge of your seats of the bachelorless bachelor party that we had there the last weekend. And we'll start getting more into the NFL stuff um, for the season two. Now, with all that said, you hear the it makes sense if you don't think about it every night, things like that. We love to hear good stories. Um, we'd love to hear one from you. If you want to shoot us one, just go ahead and slide right into our DMs. Hit us up with that story, and we'll share it out to all the folks that want to hear it. You know we do as well. We can admit names. We can share the names. It doesn't matter. We're just here for a good laugh. Absolutely. We love a good story. So, uh, Jimmer, I know you're out there. Get better, my man. But thank you, everybody, for listening. This is 3 Geek Sports. We out.